Welcome back, WW Fly Corvair. Here we're going to present a simple visual tip for setting the ignition timing on your Corvair. The ignition timing specifications are found in the new MOP manual. I'm going to use this pointer to show you where 28 degrees is on your engine. Let's take a look together. Let's take a look at the timing marks on the engine. Here we have the new MOP manual, Maintenance, Operations, and Procedures. Go straight to page 7 in the handy manual and you'll see 28 degrees is the ignition timing setting for the engine. How do we see 28 degrees on the engine? Well, we have a handy reference point. Let's take a look. As we look at the rear of the engine with the distributor removed just for clarity purposes, the timing mark on the balancer will come up to line up with this center line of that bolt right there. That is 28 degrees. It is the mounting bolt that is somewhat hidden from view by the distributor cap, but if you're sitting here with a timing light, you can actually see it. The timing mark is on the balancer, and when it lines up with that center line of that bolt, that is 28 degrees. That is your maximum ignition advance. Let's see what that looks like on a separate rear case. Here's a rear case, uh, core one. It's that bolt right there. You can see that the distributor goes in where my finger is, and that's the mounting bolt right there. And when the timing mark on the balancer comes around and lines up with the center line of that bolt, you have 28 degrees. So if you are looking at it with a timing light and it's before that, you're golden. Any time up in this zone right here, that's too much ignition advance and you're running a risk of detonation and there's no more power available up here. We have your engine specifically set with fast burn cylinder heads so that there is not, it is not required to go up into this ignition advance zone. The center line right there of that bolt head is 28 degrees and according to the manual, that's where it should be set. When we're talking about that, that is your A side primary ignition, your electronic unit. Your B side must also be checked. It should also be 28 degrees or slightly less, maybe two degrees less. We want the B side, the points, never to be further advanced than the electronic. You have to check them both when you're checking the timing. Does no good to just check one. So your primary right there, center line of the bolt. It's easy to see. As we go back here, although this engine is equipped with an SPA rear alternator, uh, it does block a little bit of the traditional timing marks, but you don't care so much what the timing is doing at idle, it'll be back in that zone. What you care about is when the engine's at its full static RPM, that you have the 28 degrees right there as a maximum. And then you're gonna check the B side, and the B side can be 28 or slightly less. That's the look. That's all there is to it. It's simple, and you can set the timing in a few minutes. It'll take longer to tie the tail of the plane down and give the pilot instructions than it will to actually set the timing. We'll go over this in more detail on other videos, but I just wanted to give you a quick look and emphasize that 28 degrees is the new limit, and we're going to stick with that. If you've liked the content, please remember, take a moment to subscri subscribe. We need your subscription. It's important. Thank you very much. We'll see you out on the flight line. Thank <laughs> you.